In this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of how I updated my family crest using Photoshop, Corella Painter, Adobe Illustrator, and Microsoft Expression Design. So to give you a little background on this project, this is something that my grandfather asked me to do, and he's compiled a whole bunch of genealogy about the Rutten family. We're from Belgium, and it talks all about where the Rutten name came from and who the Ruttons were and their immigration to America and so on. And he asked me to update the family crest since I'm an artist, so I decided to give it a go. Along with some information about our genealogy, he gave me a photocopied drawing of the original crest, or the last known version of it, so that's what I'm basing my drawing off of. I'm going to try to keep it pretty true to the original, but just clean it up and make it look a little more modern and a little more professional. I don't have any colors to go by other than a verbal description that it's supposed to be silver and blue, so I'm going to do my best to pick some nice colors. First I'll bring the photocopy into Photoshop and balance out the levels. Then I'll save this as a PSD and bring it into Corel Painter and turn on the mirror tool and I'll begin drawing this with symmetry to clean this up and make it perfect on both sides. I'm using the scratchboard tool for this. I'm keeping each part of this design on separate layers so the helmet's separate from the shield and the background and so on. I'm going to go ahead and import this into Microsoft Expression Design 4 and use the vector pen tools just to go ahead and ink this so that the lines are all smooth and even. I just happen to prefer the B-spline tool and expression, but I'll also jump over to Adobe Illustrator to draw some things like the wheel for this plow, just because it's easier to use those tools. But I'm working with several applications, Photoshop, Painter, Microsoft Expression, and Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going back and forth with cross-compatible file formats like PSD. I'm gonna bring this into Adobe Illustrator and copy the left side and mirror it to the right. Then I'll start working on the banner down below, this cross shape I'm making using some of the Pathfinder features. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw a path and use the text to path tool to go ahead and stretch my name to fit the banner. Next I'm going to use the live paint bucket to go ahead and just fill this with a solid color to fill everything in. I'm using these temporary colors first and then I'll start picking colors. I know that the colors for this original crest were blue and silver, so I'm starting with that and then I'm using the color guide to pick complementary colors. And I'm gonna go back and forth between a few different color schemes until I find what I like here because I really don't exactly know what I'm going to do here. I don't have any colors to go off of, so I just have to make this up on my own. And here's the colors that I finally decided on. So if you enjoyed watching me update my family crest, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button to get updates when I release new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.